we have Jay Spees. Jay is opening up his own place. He has some, he has some questions. So uh, Jay, Jay's first question is, hey there, uh, we have a two and a half barrel system and a seven barrel hot liquor tank. My question concerns water salts for the sparge. Is there a way to adjust the sparge water salts to be consistent with the mash water salts, considering that my HLT is much larger than my batch size? That's kind of ideal. I mean, you know, from it's water adjustments easy at the homebrew level because you got a, hot, a large hot liquor tank. You can adjust all of that water at once and then just brew with it yep. and not worry about it. It gets more difficult when you have a smaller hot liquor tank or don't have a hot liquor tank at all, um, or you're doing multiple brews the day where you're filling and draining and filling and draining that hot liquor tank. That's where, you know, it's hard to do just one adjustment. And now you're doing salt additions, to the kettle um, acidification, you know, as you say with a spray bottle, mm -hmm. you know, as you spark, um, yeah, that's where it gets complicated. But for Jay, if he's got a large HLT and is able to adjust the water once and then brew that whole batch with it, yep. that's ideal. Beautiful. And so, because I know there's a period of time where, so I'm using brew and water software when I was when I was brewing at Cartridge, and there is a time where uh, it'll break your it'll break your additions into mash and sparge, mm -hmm. and so I was adding salt to the sparge as well as it would break that down. And then later I started just to take those salts and add them to the kettle. Yeah. What is, what, what, what's your thought on that? Is there, is the there reason, any difference at all or what's happening there? Yeah. The, the primary reason we are adjusting minerals in our brewing water is for mash pH. So um, once the mash has happened, mm -hmm. Uh, we don't we don't need to worry and you know except for pH rise during the sparge we don't need to worry about um, salt and so on we can we can leave the sparge water alone in terms of salt additions and add those at the kettle mm -hmm. we can correct our sulfate and chloride ratio there um, our our concern for sparging is making sure that the pH doesn't rise, mm -hmm. and that's typically done by acidification if necessary. Mm -hmm. um, you, it's, like I said, ideally you would do all of your mineral additions and acid additions to a hot liquor tank, and then just brew with that adjusted water with your grain bill. You know, in brewing with that adjusted water during the sparge, you know, you should still be okay in terms of uh, pH. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if, uh, if you, if you have to do it separately, then worry about acidification only looking at your total alkalinity of the, of the water. Uh, and then as you say, add any additional mineral additions, just add them at the kettle yep. because they're not, they're not participating, you know, during the sparge in terms of sure. flavor or anything. You're worried. You, you're trying to just maintain your uh, low pH.